Well, good morning and uh, and happy new year, everybody. This should be the actual first video um, of the new year, 2023. It's here. Who would have thought? All right, guys. So I did a thing. I I, I told y'all in a little live event we had we're gonna have some new vehicles on the channel, and here's why. When I was a little kid, we had another dealership in town that was not a Honda dealership. And apparently they were giving these away. I did not know about it. I didn't get in line because I didn't get one. But everybody else that I knew pretty much had one and they were, they were the best thing ever as I remember it. So this is a bucket list build for me. It's very rough, but it's there. It's, it's pretty much all there and it came with enough parts that if it's not there, we can make it there. You know what I mean? Okay, so what did I buy? Let me show you. Check that load out right there. Let me get the sun out of your eyes. First and foremost, it's blue. And it's got that S word on the side of it. But when I was a kid, that machine ruled the trails. And I always wanted one, but I never had the opportunity to get one. Well, now I have two and a half. Really one and, one and three quarters, really. This is kind of a three quarters, but that's one. 1988 Suzuki LT 250R. That's right. It's a Suzuki. Come on, catch your breath. Okay, y'all ready? All right, we'll continue. Uh, story goes, it used to run good. Well, that one used to run good too, but you saw that's been a long time ago. It's pretty much all here. Now, I'm not well versed in Suzuki. That's a foreign language to me. I did not realize that they had a key on them, but we've got a keyed ignition, so that's going to be fun. Uh, it seems to be, it's got something. We're going to pull the motor out of it and tear it down and see what it's all about. But all the loose parts you see are all Suzuki. We've got fenders. I'm sorry, we've got exhaust. We've got extra wheels. We've got extra spindles and brake calipers and upper and lower control arms. We've got extra set of Nerf bars. We've got a rec uh, extra axle. We've got a very loose chain on there. Wow, that is loose. Um, expansion pipe headers converted hubs to go for lug we got spark plugs in a box that's that's valuable right there the other things are like six bucks now dang factory oe pipe we got radiators we got bracketry we got a, a factory bumper we have got more exhaust what's i don't even know what's in here literally this guy said if it's got if it's suzuki i want it gone and i'm like i'm your guy we got nuts and bolts and headers and carburetors and plastic bits and chain master cylinders and brake reservoirs look at this we're gonna have to send that out to curdy real quick because i don't think that's how that's supposed to go it is a mccoonie that's good look at the wear on that slide <laughs> yeah yeah all right curdy you're gonna have your work cut out for you too sir we got extra wheels this one's bent though we got brand new tire one that's you know, you're a quarter of the way there we got red nerf bars we got blue nerf bars we got gas tanks we got a fmf expansion pipe there what else we got we got a silencer over there oh wait a minute yeah there's more <laughs> we've got plastics we've got big foot pegs and little foot pegs and uh oh transmission gears now i don't like seeing that um we got a cool head here from cool head that's a that's an old piece there but that's that's some cool technology for sure pun intended because i don't know what it really is or it isn't we got some factory shocks here with some little shock boots on it we got some grills another gas tank that's a lot of stuff where are we gonna put it all oh wait a minute wait there's more we have three seats a blue one a white and black flamed one and a blue and black regular one i don't think any of that's oe but the foam looks good and the uh and the bottoms of course are plastic so that's going to work so here's what we're going to do we're going to set some parameters on this lt before we get carried away here's the deal the lt has to pay for itself it has to build itself so here's how that's going to work 
we're gonna take everything out of this trailer and we're gonna sort well I, I'm gonna take it out of the trailer you can come help if you want just put down in the comments I'll give you a call I'm gonna sort every bit of this there should be two or three machines total you know in jest we're gonna pick the best of each part and that becomes the keeper everything else we're gonna sell every extra part nut bolt hub wheel everything we're gonna sell when we get done that machine should be running and driving on its own and I should get reimbursed everything I paid for the trailer load I bought an LT250R Suzuki. I've always wanted one. I wanted to know what they were like, what they were all about. And we're gonna find out. And we're gonna put it on the track, and we're gonna put it up against its actual rival, uh, the 250R. And we'll see how it handles and performs in comparison to that. But we got to build it first, and we got a long way to go. I'm about to show you a mess, and uh, here's here's the plan. I bought everything the guy had. If it had an S on it and was blue and yellow or used to be blue and yellow, I bought it. And uh, we are going to build a running and driving quad racer. And anything that's left over gets sold. And I have a feeling that there's enough stuff here that we can sell off everything and the LT will be free. So that's the plan. It's going to be a relatively a budget build. I really do want it to look, act, and perform like it should have back in 1988. That's, you know, it's run, drive, stop, safe, all of that good stuff. But I want it yellow, I want it blue, I want it to look like they did when I was a kid. So we got a lot of work ahead of us. Let me show you everything that we got, and then we'll talk about the Honda, because I know that's what you I know that's what you're waiting on. So here we've got an extra gas tank two mismatched wheels, two front hubs, and two wheels, brakes, tires, upper and lower control arms, and they actually look, they lack, they look really good. The bushings look pretty, pretty tired in them, but the arms themselves, paint-wise is what I'm going by. Fitment, I don't see anything that's bent or anything. We got a pair of aftermarket wheels there in the back, relatively decent tires, OBTs. Um, you know, they're 20s, I do like 20s. I'm showing you bad stuff first. We've got a chassis. We got an old FMF pipe. We got another gas tank with lid. Pretty straight pair of handlebars. We've got a seat. We have an engine here. We've got a complete engine. And yes, I have the head for it. It has a cool head on it. I think this is probably going to be the head that we go into or the motor we go into. I, I don't know. We, we'll cross that bridge once I get a plan together. We've got an entire 88. 250R engine. We've got the original 88 swing arm back here. They did change designs later on. We've got an extra brake caliper and stay, and they probably don't call theirs a stay. They probably just call theirs a bracket. Um, but you know, there might be something usable there. Somebody cut the ends off, so I'm sure somebody welded the uh, hubs on. You got an extra set of Nerf bars here. We got two pair. We got some reds and some blues. The blue ones, I can go ahead and tell you, weigh, weigh half as much as the red ones. We've got plastics. We've got silver plastics with skulls on them because that's scary. And we've got some gray plastics because I don't know what that guy was 
eaten, but those are the OE plastics. They're yellow underneath it. I wish they'd still yellow. We've got grills. We've got black. We've got white. We've got blue. We've got a rear grab bar here. Somebody's done some welding on it with looks like a, a blowtorch there. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing there. And then we got this little one. I don't even know. Is that does that go on the front? I think that's a front bumper. Yeah. That's a front bumper there. So we'll put that on the front somewhere. We got rear plastics. I guess they were body working these. I, I don't know. They're yellow. So that's that's closer to what I want. And then we have the gray rear skulls again. And, and I gotta tell you, those plastics look like I mean they're dirty as all get out, but there's no breaks, no tears, no, no, no nothing. They look like a nice set of plastics. I really you could probably do something with those. You take some silly stickers off. So clearly that's that's not all I bought. We've got three radiators, a stock exhaust, a hosing, a bunch of garbage basically. Uh, we got master cylinders and levers and CDI box maybe, throttle, coil definitely in there. Over here we've got a carburetor, intake, grips, nuts and bolts, brackets. I'm gonna have to get a manual. I don't know where any of this stuff goes. We got an extra kicker. I know those are kind of sought after. Uh, another bracket for a, probably for a front, front fender. Probably. I don't know. I don't know anything about Suzuki's. We got a silencer. We got a conversion set of hubs. I do know that. The hubs that are on the machine are five lug. Uh, these are four, so we could convert that over to the standard four. Original OE aluminum uh, skid plate. We got some OE pegs, brackets, intake boots. We got a lot of stuff there. Looks like spark plug still in the box. That's always good. We got some shocks here. What do we got? Looks like, oh, good. These ain't all been painted up and goofy looking. Yep. So we got some front shocks. There's a cool head to go on that extra motor. We've got another set of pegs here. Uh, I don't know if those are OE or not. I, I don't know. We're gonna, I'm learning as I go here, y'all. Bear with me. If we get some new subscribers that are Suzuki guys, y'all just write it in the comments. Tell me what all these pieces are. <sighs> That's a bumper. That's a bumper. Got a lot of bumpers. You got a set of hubs with the wide four. Uh, triple trees, uppers and lowers. That's plastic. I don't know where that goes. That's got to be exhaust. Yeah, that's exhaust there. So that's hubs and brake rotors and stuff. That's that's good stuff there. And brake rotors are going to be handy. We're going to need to slow this puppy down. Put a lot of woe in, in it. Oh, y'all want to see what it looks like? Yeah. Well, that's not even why I went to get it. This was just all the extra stuff. So this is what I bought. 1988. I've been placing fenders here, just kind of playing dress up, seeing what, what fits, what doesn't. 1988 LT250R and it's it's pretty much all here the story on this one is it's got a busted skirt I, I don't know we're gonna have to pop it and find out you see all the new gaskets on it somebody's been in it before uh, of course the carb is on it so that makes our second carb so that's good I love having spare carbs <laughs> we're missing a lot of nuts and bolts and stuff here and there but overall it's all here it really is all here. I think if we get the, the head gasket situation straightened out, clean the carburetor, as long as there's no monkey business in the bottom end, I think we're gonna be in good shape. But if someone's updated the, uh, the, sw the swing arm on the rear, you see we're running five lug axles in the back, or hubs. But this is the this is not an 88 rear swing i don't believe i believe this is the uh the newer uh 90 model swing arm i don't know when that came in somebody correct me but i, I know that this is a better swing arm to have if you're building one of these but yeah we uh we got one in the shop wow do we have one in the shop that's a lot of work so this is not going to be a, a a 20 minute rebuild you know as, as a lot of the, the the jobs are i do around here it's gonna take a while. I've got to learn. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about a Suzuki. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to get the book and uh, the manual. I've already downloaded it. And I recommend that of you. 
But this is gonna be an exercise. Can we build something out of all this junk? Sell off the remaining parts and, uh, and be profitable. And I think we can. I think there's enough here to have a run and drive an LT and then recoup our investment. And so when this is all over with, we're gonna get pad to pencil and we'll see where we land. I think we're gonna be in really, really good shape. But it's a big job. I, I just, I don't even know what I'm looking at right now, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna have to try to try to figure that out and play catch up. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Well, not you, you over there, you're hungry. But I know what the rest of y'all were thinking. The rest of y'all were thinking, well, he said he got a Honda too. I didn't see no Honda. Well, let's take a look at the Honda. This is something I know a little bit about. Feast your eyes. 1984, 250R, three-wheeler, ATC. Now, the tank and the seat, this is a project that a gentleman had and he was gonna redo it. He redid the tank, he redid the seat, and he kind of lost interest and wanted to go in a different direction. And I just happened to, to be at the right place at the right time. And, uh, and so we worked out a deal on it. And I've always told you that your value is tank, seats, and fenders. And so we're missing one of the three, but the price was right. This is something I want to keep. This is something that I think would look really good up against my other R. And, uh, and I think I'm probably going to end up, before it's all over with, try to have one of each um you know series first second and third gen uh 250rs we'll see we'll see we'll have to find the right 81 or 82 to go with this one but it's all here i mean it's 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 here it's just gonna it's gonna take some work but uh i think it's gonna be a nice machine it's very solid everything checks out on it um we do have some rust concerns here on the front forks but the frame is good the the forks aren't locked up they still cycle i think uh, i think we'll be we can just clean it up but yeah there it is 1984 we're gonna do a will it run the next video out will probably be i think this will be the closest one to getting up and going so we'll do a will it run on this one and uh and see what it's going to take i know i'm going to go ahead and order a few parts we're going to need a chain of course and uh you know a few odds and ends but let's uh so that's it that's how i spent my first day off of 2023 i uh had a little road trip early early this morning and picked up two machines that i think are going to be really fun to build and uh i hope y'all enjoy it i hope y'all like the content we're going to spread out a little bit this year and try a few different things not everything's going to be honda we had a little mini bike here at christmas time and we did some go-karts for some kids and you know anything like that is uh is something different i mean you can only do the same thing so many times before it gets old and uh and same goes for me too i can't you know i can't always work on big reds all the time so it's uh it's good to, to kind of mix it up a little bit of course i keep filling the shop up i'm not apparently going to ever finish it it may be one of those projects that just never get finished space is always at a premium been looking at covered trailers uh, pod buildings um dropping a uh what do they call them a connex something like that I just don't know if it would serve me well or not to store more stuff. Probably not. Probably be better for me to just get rid of some stuff. But that's extremely hard to do. But that's it. So there you go. There's your first video for 2023. That's going to be some major content going forward this year. We're going to do our first Suzuki LT 250R 1988. And my first 1984 250R Honda atc three-wheeler looking forward to it if you got any suggestions on what to do with this suzuki be nice please if you have any suggestions or comments about the suzuki let me know um, if you saw something in that pile of rubble that uh, needs to be needs some attention uh, put it in the comments well as always thank y'all for watching please like share and subscribe tell your friends we do a little bit of everything around here so thanks again y'all have a happy new year take care